Honorable Prime Minister has envisioned to provide housing to each household of the country by 2022. For urban areas, Government of India has launched Pradhan Mantri Avas Yojana Urban in June 2015. As per the demand survey till May 2018, approximately 1 crore houses are required to be constructed by 2022. Till now, more than 50 lakh houses have been sanctioned in various states and union territories of the country. It has been realized by the government that such a huge requirement of houses cannot be built with a conventional cast-in-place brick and stick approach. These constructions are slow-paced and too much dependent on cement, clay bricks, sand, aggregates and water which leads to depletion of natural resources and also environmental degradation. Realizing the fact that goal of housing for all is to be achieved by 2022, Government of India is encouraging the states to adopt new technologies for construction of houses under Pradhan Mantri Avas Yojana Urban through technology submission. Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs has approved 16 new technologies which have been certified by BMTPC under Performance Appraisal Certification Scheme. These technologies are broadly categorized in five groups, namely Formwork Systems, Precast Concrete Construction Systems, Light Gauge Steel Structural Systems, Steel Structural Systems and Precast Sandwich Panel Systems. CPWD has also issued schedule of rates for eight technologies. Bureau of Indian Standards has included new technologies for housing in the latest National Building Code 2016. The benefits which house owner gets through these new technologies include safer and disaster resilient house, better quality of construction, low maintenance, speedy construction resulting in early occupancy, cost-effective and environment-friendly, better fire resistance and thermal efficiency. Many states have already started using these technologies in a big way. As on date, around 8.5 lakh houses are being constructed using new technologies under PMAY Urban and other state housing schemes. In Andhra Pradesh, 4,52,000 houses are being constructed using monolithic technology. In Maharashtra, 1,18,482 houses are being constructed using precast technology. Under the PMAY scheme, we have to construct 15,540 houses within the span of 36 months. So it, it is a very hard task, basically. So under the precast housing, we have decided to erect a factory over here and manufacturing of all components which gives me quality plus quantum of work and to construct the houses within the shortest period but with quality and quantity. In Gujarat, 6,953 houses are being constructed using precast waffle crate technology. Waffle crate technology may be fabricated uh, precast panel ka istamal kiya jata hai jisse लोगों को कम समय में लो कॉस्टिंग पर आवास की सुविधा उपलब्ध हो सकती है। 45,366 houses are being constructed using monolithic technology. Monolithic technology की एक जो बेनिफिट है, वो एक तो ये है कि एक तो ये कम समय लेता है कन्वेंशनल के कंपैरिजन में। दूसरा है ये सिस्मिक रेसिस्टेंस है, इसमें ड्यूरेबिलिटी भी ज्यादा है, और दूसरा इसमें मेंटेनेंस थोड़ा in Telangana, 14,584 houses are being constructed using monolithic technology. In Chhattisgarh, 3,212 houses are being constructed using precast technology and 4,586 houses are being constructed using monolithic technology. We mass housing for monolithic construction is laid out that the construction is durable, price-wise, और अर्थक्वेक रेजिस्टेंस होते हैं दूसरा यदि सेम चार ब्लॉक का यदि हम कन्वेंशनल पैटर्न पे हाउसिंग कंस्ट्रक्ट करते हैं तो वो 3 महीने में लगता है और मोनोलिथिक कंस्ट्रक्शन में हम 7 डेज में कंप्लीट कर लेते हैं इसमें जॉइंट्स कम होते हैं और इसका मेंटेनेंस कॉस्ट जो है बहुत ही लो होता है इसमें स्वीकेज करने एकदम नील है और इसमें अपने को कारपेट एरिया अधिक मिलता है क्योंकि इसके बाल जो है पतले होते हैं 
under technology submission of PMA by Urban Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs through BMTPC is showcasing different technologies through demonstration of housing projects in different parts of country. 36 houses using GFRG technology at Nellore and 32 houses at Bhubaneswar using EPS core panel have been constructed. 40 houses at Lucknow using double walled EPS technology. 36 houses at Bihar Sharif Bihar using structural stain place form work system. 32 houses at Hyderabad using light gauge steel structural frame system and structural stain place form system are being constructed. Organizations like NBCC, DG Map, CRPF, CPWD, HPL, BMTPC, BIS, IITs, SPAs have been involved by the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs to create enabling environment for adoption of these technologies at mass scale in the states. Government of India through Global Housing Technology Challenge is contemplating to identify proven innovative housing technologies globally which are cost effective and can deliver houses faster.